is such an honor to finish 2022 here with with the people that have worked so hard on this film and and for vicky this this movie started five or six seven years ago to be here with them and to celebrate the completion of something that many times we thought wasn't going to be finished or this is going to be a disaster or this is not just not going to work or or i'm not going to finish this or the sun already set and we can't do that scene and, and many times it felt like this ain't happening Tennessee, the premiere of this movie, Moonrise. We're starting the media day for it. And so we're doing some radio, some TV. We got boys with me, hey. Jason Jackson. And then tonight's the red carpet. So this is how this day starts. The stars, the stars are here. The stars are here. Hi. Oh, Granger Smith, and a new movie and a new soundtrack, if you will, to the movie Moonrise. You started out to be a movie star, and not only did you get to do that, but you also wound up writing the soundtrack to the movie, which didn't exist when it started. The movie is about a country singer, uh -huh. and the country singer has a few songs he has to perform in the movie. So when I read the script, which I love the script, that's why I took the movie to begin with, I thought, that I really like the story, I like this guy, I like this character. But as I read it, there was a song, particularly at the end, that the character writes and performs. And I texted the director and I said, can you send me that song, the one called Forever Forward at the end of the movie? And she said, we don't have that song, but we'll find it one day. And I thought, no, you won't. There's no way. You can't find you can't find a song like that. So I said, let me let me take a stab at writing it. And so I wrote that one. Then I wrote another one in the film. And then that just snowballed into one by one, twelve piece by piece, twelve songs for the for the whole movie. Granger Smith on Coffee Country and Cody, all over the world on WSM Radio, and all over the world now on Circle Television. Granger plays here. Got some movie stars with us. Man. <laughs> These guys, it was my first time to be in a movie, and theirs as well. These are my two sons in the in the actual film itself. But this is Case and Jackson, and they play my two sons, Niall and Noah, in the movie. Yeah, say hi guys. Say hi to everybody on the radio. Hey everybody. What's up everybody? How you guys doing? <laughs> so first movie for you guys, or had you done this sort of thing? Before? Um, well, I was on 1883, the pilot episode with uh, Tim McGraw in the Pickpockets. Oh, you were Sam Elliott, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> for me, I had never done any production like this, but I was just so happy that I got to be able to do this. The character I'm playing is a country singer, so. My theory is they thought it would be easier to cast a country singer and teach him to act a little bit than it would be to get an actor to actually perform country music. I guess. I guess. So it came across through my booking agency. They all go. Um, but then to sort of have the okay. Movie, Thank you. It comes out December fifteenth in, in the the entire crew of making the movie. Yeah, my favorite scene though, I think one of them is uh, you guys on the fence when you're talking about um, maybe she's in ugly guys, like that whole scene. That's her. I love that scene. It's like so natural with you two, and y'all, y'all are just talking like brothers would talk, and I don't see it. Why? How, how come? And you're like, cause she's not mom. That's such a good like moment, like a brother moment. Yeah. People, people don't know if, if I got a schedule or not, but I do. There are people really like that somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, my publicist for this movie 
personally to... I he didn't know what Earl Dibbles Jr. was, so we introduced him. Shoots the gun? <laughs> At what? Take him now. Yee, that's the thing on your shirt. Oh my gosh, that's not a little dip, that's a dollop of a dip. Just don't have words. I, I mean, if it worked, I. What's up, everybody? We are in Nashville for the premiere of Moonrise. Granger just left to do a full day of media. I got to stay and read my Bible and catch up, and I'm gonna go get some breakfast with our tour manager, Chris's wife, Allison, and then we're gonna do hair and makeup. So I will take you along for that. It's been, gosh, it's been a long time since I've done hair and makeup, especially here in Nashville. We use my really good friend, Sharla. She's incredible. But we were all talking last night about the last time we were coming to a red carpet event here in Nashville was the night that River passed. And Granger was about to get on a plane the next day to come to the, I believe it was CMT, CMT Awards, I believe. And Tyler was actually getting on the plane when he got the call. So it was kind of a weird moment for us coming back here for a red carpet event um, and just remembering everything that we went through, you know, so many years ago, but we've grown a lot since then. Um, Granger's on a different path now, which has been so incredible to watch. And it's gonna be a fun time to just celebrate him and, and the cast and the crew for all their hard work on the movie. And we're gonna get to see some of you guys here at the movie premiere, so we're excited. And then next week we get to go to Dallas and Austin. So we get to see more of you guys. There may still be some tickets, so Paul, we can put the link down in the description below if you guys want to try to get tickets. This is my view today. It's kind of a rainy day in Nashville, but it's a pretty little town, pretty little city. Oh, Lincoln would like that car right there. I can't zoom in, but right there. <laughs> I've seen these before, but like, you know. Like, Go right over there real quick and okay. do the news. I mean, do the weather. Okay, so for Granger Smith, we have a VO, which is, um, we have VO of like kind of a montage of just um, some of the movie clips, and then we have a sock that I'll, I'll throw to kind of to see a little clip of the actual. This is where the cameras will stay for their song. Great. Hi, How are you? Marissa, it's so nice, Marissa, to, nice meet to meet you. you. Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest taught himself guitar at 14 and was so good, he got a publishing contract just five years later. It's pretty remarkable. Now he has a movie, and every song in it is from his new album. Welcome, Ranger Smith. So happy that you're here. Thank you. Moonrise, this movie that it's your debut. So we got up early this morning and started a media day and we just kind of went around town, Nashville, and did different stops and it was everything from news stations to magazines to vlogs to blogs to radio to country radio to talk radio and we're gonna do the same thing next week in Dallas and Austin endless after that and I'll be doing I do things virtually too so in between I'm making calls and like Skype calls to different news stations across the country that just gonna continue and that's normal for a promotion like this uh, even though it's my first movie it's similar to an album or a radio single or anything like that and then I'm gonna do it again for the book next year with just different outlets. But we got up early this morning and, and hit that, and then now I'm finished. So I'm about to go start working on After Midnight stuff for t that comes out tomorrow. And then it's a straight shot to the actual premiere. And I'm so excited about the, the premiere. You know, go there and they'll have a little red carpet for us. Other actors will be there. John Marlin will be there who, who produced the album with me. And I'm so excited to watch the film in a theater because I've seen it a thousand times during editing and building the tracks and working on things, but to, to be able to go now and be in a theater with a bunch of other people, including just fans, and see the reaction and hear what they laugh at and hear what they scoff at, it's gonna be interesting. I'm excited for John Marlin to see it, to hear the songs that he played guitar on and produced coming through the theater. Uh, sound system. Yeah, I, 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 Paul hasn't even seen it. You know, he hasn't even seen the film. So all the other actors, nobody has seen it. Jackson and Case haven't seen it. So this is gonna be really fun to just kind of sit back in a chair in a theater and see a film that I've seen a bunch and just soak it in around. I'll, I'll almost be just observing everyone around me as they're taking in the film for the first time. It should be really cool. 
that's the next thing we'll do. Say cheese. It's about that time. About that time? About that time. For what? Your very first movie premiere. Yeah, you say that because that's like your fifth or fourth. Or <laughs> no, no, it's not. Well, it's not that much your first. You look very handsome. You've been okay, to me? I've been to, I've been to your premieres before. And you're in this movie too, so. Yes. It's a video. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys. Want to The whole team dressed yeah. up. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Everyone looks good. First red carpet for a movie, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't want to no, do it without your brother. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you. We're on the real Ready? That's that word. Okay. Long time no see. How do you feel, Chris? Oh. I cannot wait to read the reviews tomorrow about my performance. So, yeah, thanks for coming. I'm going to do that. Okay. Am I going on here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My name is Rich Peluso, and I am the head of Affirm Films. First of all, the star of our film, Granger Smith. The many of you guys have dealt with me this year, 2022, for me has been the year of Moonrise. If I was doing anything else at some point, I was also doing Moonrise in the background, whether it was uh, working on the film, or working on the music for the film, or working on the promotion for the music, or up the film. But this has been uh, the whole year for me, starting in January, with these two. And it is, it is such an honor to finish 2022 here with, with the people that have worked so hard on this film. And, and for Vicki, this, this movie started five or six, seven years ago. To be here with them and to celebrate the completion of something that many times we thought wasn't going to be finished, or this is going to be a disaster, or this is not just not going to work, or, or I'm not going to finish this, or the sun already set and we can't do that scene. And, and many times it felt like this ain't happening. And then to be here to celebrate it, it is just such a privilege. I, I want to say this too, and this is maybe the main takeaway, is that this holiday season is a time for family and friends and eating good food, sitting around the table. That's what we do during the holiday season. But for, for some families, it's just a reminder that there's an empty chair at the table. And there's some people that are thinking, I just wish Christmas would hurry up and, and be gone. So I don't have to remember that there's an empty chair this season at our table. And this film is going to show us. And what we work so hard for is that this film shows us that there's a way forward through that. That you can get through this season and the next season and the one after that. You don't have to move on, but you just move forward. Let me finish with one more thing. The character that I play, his name is Will Brown. It's actually a real character uh, based, based around her father. And um, he passed away about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Um, and I don't believe in coincidences or irony. I believe that everything is, is, is purposeful and sovereign. And, um, and so this film is now dedicated to the real William Brown. Thank you. Video, he sleeps in his um, white tank top and white underwear. 
Okay, did you actually skip the rock that many times, or is it edited? Got that rock, baby. Skip it. Nice. One down, two to go. Y'all going to uh, uh, Dallas and Austin? Dallas and Austin, yes. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, you're the movie star. <laughs> right? The extra. I think you heard <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys did so good. Thank you very much. All right. You did it. Yeah. Premiere one down. Um, we saw the screening in LA. It was a way smaller theater. That was a big, big theater. Yeah, I've never seen a theater this big. Yeah, it was <laughs> really guess, big. Is that typical? It's like 400 know. seats. Yeah. What do you think? I love it. I love seeing you up there. The sound in that theater wasn't great. It wasn't very good. It wasn't good, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't great. It's, it's interesting, I was thinking, because the LA one like really hit you. I don't know if that was because it was a smaller theater. Yeah. But the sound, like when the music started, and I was like, are there different, is there somebody back there that has like, no. to make sure the audio for the people, the actors talk? No, that's why we mixed, that's why I literally went to LA so and spent was, all the time mixing it. So it's a awesome. bad sound system. It's the compression on the sound system. Anyway, it's something to look forward to in Dallas. And when you guys watch it on Pure Flix in your headphones or in your, t in your living room, it's going to sound awesome in your yeah. living room. Because I've seen it many times on my headphones, so. I have a question, Granger. Yo. It's your first time seeing it with people who haven't seen it, right? Yeah. What was going through your head when you're sitting down? Were you nervous? I was nervous because I'd be like, oh, come, here comes that scene that I think's funny. And then people would laugh. And then other times they would laugh on something I didn't think was yeah. funny. And I was like, oh, that's funny. That happened one time too. I was like. <laughs> And then sometimes people would laugh, and I was like, don't laugh, the next line's even funnier. Oh, miss they it. missed it. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, um, it was intense seeing, seeing people seeing it for the first time, something I've lived with for a thousand times. Yeah, it was. And we got to see a lot of you guys there. Yeah. We got to hug you guys. It was awesome. Really fun. I can't wait for Austin now. Or Dallas, Dallas is first. the next one. Yeah, so, yee yee. All right. Take me high